guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to another video. This week, I kind of have a special video. This is something that I've never done before. Um, I have decided to follow the Con Marie Con Cone Marie like tidying method. If you don't know who she is, she has a Netflix show that came out. It's called Tidying Up, and she has this really kind of genius way of organizing your room and basically your whole house, but um, I kind of only own my room since I don't have an apartment or anything. So I will be taking you guys along and following this method. So if you don't know what this method is, um, basically there's like a checklist of things that you go through in your house. Um, and this is for people who have like a lot of stuff and just don't really know how to organize it or just need to get rid of things. And I have way too many clothes and I just need to get rid of a lot of stuff that I don't need. Okay, so the first thing you start with is clothing. The second, you go to books. The third, you go to papers. Fourth is like miscellaneous and um, in the show it's called kimono, but it's basically like miscellaneous office and like whatever else doesn't categorize in the other um the other categories and then uh, the fifth one is sentimental items so i'll follow the checklist as much as i can i mean it's not like i have a kitchen or anything or an office really so yeah i'll take you guys along okay so following this checklist um i'm starting with clothing okay hey guys um this is kind of awkward sorry but i don't have a tripod right now so this is what we're gonna be doing so let me kind of show you my closet i have a sliding door going on um so this is just the first half the way that i organize my closet is by sleeves so the shortest sleeves are on this side and then the longest sleeves are on this side and then within the sleeves i have color coordination so if it makes sense i start from red to purple in no sleeves and then red to purple in short sleeves and then red to purple in long sleeves um and then this is first half of my shoes so, oh my god, my poor white shoes that got all stained. So, you see they're kind of piling up. That's because I have too many shoes. I'll definitely be going through um, my shoes and my clothes right now. Let's do it. If it'll focus. This is so close. I'm sorry. So, you want to separate your categories into tops and bottoms, dresses, pajamas, jackets, handbags, belts and scarves, shoes and boots, hats and gloves, socks and underwear, Jewelry, costumes, and athletic clothes and swimwear. She's sweet like candy in my veins, baby. For the next process of the Conmarie method, this is when you pick up every single item of clothing you have layered out and decide whether or not this item brings joy to you. She describes joy as being a fulfilling sensation and is something that will allow you to move into the future. Everything else, you thank the item and put it off to the side. Okay, here's a quick update. Um, so this is my yes pile right here. I just took off all my hangers, so this is a monster pile of hangers, and this is my no pile so far. But basically, that was everything in my closet. And next, I have to tackle this drawer right here because this is filled with clothes. Okay, let's go through this a little bit. So this is my first drawer that I took out. This is full with fuzzy socks and underwear. This is the second drawer that I pulled out. This is like bras and stuff. That's a bra right there. And then a colorful leotard since I dance and swimwear. This is the third drawer that I pulled out. Um, so right here are shorts and stuff. This is like black leotards and pink tights for ballet. This is my fourth drawer. This is just full of pants. And this is my fifth drawer, so this serves as kind of my miscellaneous socks here. I have more fuzzy socks. Um, my pajamas, my school shirts, and my dance shirts that I don't use. <sighs> so I'm about to tackle everything here. Yeah, as you can see behind me there is just a mountain of clothes. That's my yes pile, so this might be harder than I thought. Yay, let's start. So a big part of the Comrie method is the way that you actually fold the items to fit in the drawers. So folding a pair of shorts, for example, you would fold them in half, then long ways fold in thirds. This makes the item stand free on its own, and you can stack and fit more within the drawers. With the shirt, you fold the sleeves in on itself, 
then fold it in half long ways. Then you fold it again in thirds to make it stand up on its own. Folding a pair of jeans is pretty simple as well. All you do is fold them in half, then long ways you fold them in half again. Then from the bottom up you fold them into thirds. This makes your jeans stand up and you can fit more in your jean drawer. Hey guys, um, quick update. Sorry the lighting's kind of bad, but I have my flashlight to show you guys. Here are my socks so far. Here's a more extended version of my socks. Um, so basically, um, and the main way to storage all your stuff through the KonMari method is to fold everything as tightly and neatly as you can so everything fits. You can fit a lot more things. So this is my entire sock drawer. I got rid of a lot of fuzzy socks, so I have a lot more like, sorry, a lot more like normal socks and stuff, so yeah. Um, so here's my second drawer. This is uh, underwear, um, and then some swimsuits. Please focus. So underwear, swimsuits, and bras. Okay, so in this drawer we have some shorts, and it kind of blends into like my leotard and stuff for dance, so yeah, this is this drawer. And in here, we have all my pants. Um, so again, it's just the way of folding them that makes this method so um, effective, I guess. And you can fit a lot of things in here, but after decluttering my pants, I, um, yeah, feel a lot better with this. So this is my last drawer. These are like school shirts and pajamas, uh, like pajama shirts, so yeah. So for the book category, you wanna separate your books into cookbooks, which I clearly don't have. General, kids, magazines, reference and textbooks, and phone books, which I don't think anyone owns in this lifetime, but. Okay, so right now I'm about to tackle my books. I don't really have a whole lot of books. Kind of ranging from smallest to tallest, so yeah. I get misty just holding your hand. Okay, so as far as books go, these are all the books I decided to get rid of. Most of them are like textbooks. This, for example, is a journal I don't use. This was my AP World History like notebook thing. Up here is my new and improved book area, I guess, in my closet. So from these books right here up until this black one are like literary books I decided to keep. Um, this black one and the pink one are journals I decided to keep. This is just like a Winnie the Pooh book I think is cute. And then these are all my yearbooks. And then I'm using a pair of shoes to be a book stop. Okay, so next is the biggest item on the checklist. So basically it's all things miscellaneous that doesn't fit in the first three categories. Um, okay. Hey guys, it is day two of my like decluttering. Um, good news. It snowed super, super hard last night in, um, Colorado. So I have a snow day today so I get to work all day on this video. I know everyone's just so excited to see me clean my room. So today I'm starting with like miscellaneous items. I'm not doing the paper. God, Charlie, get out of here. Mm. Okay, get out. Okay. As I said, I'm not doing the paper items because I don't really have paper. So, I'm starting with like miscellaneous things like in my makeup drawers and hair drawers. Okay, and then I will be moving on to sentimental slash like room decor because I have a lot of room decor and I kind of need to um, update it. So yeah, let's get started. Do you remember 21st night, September? Love was changing the minds, pretend while chasing the clouds away. Okay, so right now this is my good pile for my makeup and stuff, and this is my bad pile. Yeah, so as you can see, I have a lot of like face masks and stuff I never use, but um, obviously I can use them and they make me happy. So, hey!
Alright guys, a quick little update. So this is my beauty drawer. It's kind of organized. I really need to get like bins or something to uh, fully organize it. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. This is what my hair drawer looks like. As you can see, I have a lot of like um, curling wands and straightening irons. And then I just kind of put like my essential hair stuff on the side. This is kind of my candle drawer. And this bag is what I take to pack my makeup in when I travel. So I just stored this in here. Um, then I did the bag in the bag technique that uh, she talks about in the show. So yeah, these are my candles. Um, this was a birthday present a long time ago. And then this is just kind of an extra drawer. I don't, this is like a bag, makeup bag for travel as well. This is a littler um, makeup bag. This is just a jar, I don't, I don't really know. Okay guys, so this used to be where all my nail polish would go, but I literally took all the nail polish out except for these three, which are like clear. Um, and then I put some big bottles in here that I didn't really know what to put. And then these are a bunch of nail files I put in this drawer. Okay, so here's my medicine drawer. I nailed down to just a few things I want to keep. A lot of it's like nasal stuff or um, cream, which sounds weird. So um, these pills down here are like alka Plus, Benadryl, um, Tylenol, things like that. So my next drawer, these are just some extra makeup removers I decided to put in there. And cute little backstory with this. In middle school, me and Gracie took this CFS class, which is like a homemaking, sewing, and cooking kind of class. Um, and I was the first one to buy like her pillows, and this is from seventh grade, so this survived six years. Yes, yeah, just cute. So I decided to keep it. This is just a completely random drawer. This is like a bunch of European money. Yeah, this is like euros, I guess. Um, these are some teeth whiteners. So. Yeah, that's completely random. And then here are just some like hair accessory kind of things like bandanas and this is a headband. Um, these are things that I decided to keep and I had a lot that I got rid of, like a lot of weird bows or like, you know, those cat headbands I used to be in, so yeah. Okay guys, so the very, very last thing that I have to do in my room to like declutter is my photo wall and my decorations, which you can't really see right now. Basically, I'm redoing the photo wall in the back and I don't know what I'm doing with the decorations around my room, but I guess we'll figure that out. And it goes a little something like So that's it for this video. I didn't do everything that I wanted to do, like I didn't do my shoes or like my office supplies, but I feel like I got a lot of stuff done within two days. Um, so basically the main point of the KonMari method is to keep the things that spark joy for you so and then get rid of everything else that doesn't really um, feel like you need it to move on in your life. That's what I did for my makeup, my clothes, um, my photo wall behind me, as you can see, there's nothing there. I rearranged it from the last time I showed you. My little drawers on that side of my room. Oh, and my books. Forgot about my books. Obviously, you can complete... Oh my god! Obviously, you can complete a lot more and go a lot farther than I did. I gave myself a two-day time span to complete everything that I could. Um, so yeah, hopefully this inspires you to, uh, tidy up in your room or your apartment or house or whatever. Make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram and subscribe to this channel and put on those post notifications. Yeah, cool. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Oh my god. I was scared of dentists in the dark. I was scared of